So making his way to the cage right now is uh, Christopher Wingate, 5'7", 135 pounds from Nassau County. Trains out of Gracie Fernandina. He is 1-0 as a pro. And uh, this is about his fifth time uh, fighting for combat night. Uh, I said his favorite combat night fighters to watch are Colin Luberts. And he said, I don't know these new cats. <laughs> uh, he said his favorite combat night memory was shutting up Bill Carpenter's fans. Ooh. He said uh, his prediction for the fight that someone will win and someone will lose. That's profound. That's, yeah. Uh, I want to give a shout out to his family and his team. And I know uh, Christopher Wingate, he's from up here, but nevertheless kind of playing, you know, he's fighting the, another hometown guy. So hometown, hometown fight, this is going to be good, man. The crowd should be getting into this one. For sure. And I think uh, on our on our poll, maybe he didn't fare so well. That's what Reggie was just referencing oh, okay, as uh, yeah. one so of the comment polls, polls yes. on Instagram. These guys are actually paying attention They're to paying it. Paying attention, so <laughs> hey, we're doing something, man. They, they want the world to know. Hey, man, look, I'm here. I'm here to win. How can you doubt me? And uh, he is. He likes playing the spoiler, and that's what he did down in Orlando. I I love that we have a jujitsu versus boxer matchup here with you know Chris being a jiu-jitsu guy so let's see well, i'm interested to see how this happens you know that's There's cjj no no this not, tag team not that this is regular jiu-jitsu but okay two weeks after that i go to mexico for eddie bravo cjj so right now making his way to the cage ramon tavares five foot seven 135 pounds the savage from jacksonville florida training out of bulldog boxing making his pro debut here tonight was six and one as an amateur. His favorite combat night fighter to watch was Austin Lane. His favorite combat night memory was winning his amateur belt. He predicts this fight will end in a KO, and he wants to give a shout out to Lean Impact Nutrition, Bulldog Boxing, Cryotherapy, Jax. And uh, I don't know if you know this, Jim. Maybe you do. You know a little bit of combat night history. Uh, as amateurs, these two guys fought, oh, and nice. in that yeah. fight, Ramon blew out his knee. So this went is on to win that fight no despite way. blowing out his knee. That's amazing. So I so think definitely something to prove here. Yes, everybody does. Something to prove here. I love I love rematches. Rematches are great, you know. And as pros, no less. So stakes. Yes. Yesterday at the Williams, uh, Christopher Wingate flashed the money sign, and said he's just here to collect <laughs> some money. I'm excited for this main fight. event. I love, I love these weight classes, 135, 145, just nonstop action. Tavares in the black trunks, Wingate in the white, and we're off. Jab there from Wingate right out the gate. Hands down. Oh, oh kind of baiting him in, in, trying to bait him in. I like that. I like when they're out here having fun. Little jab there from Tavares. Slap attempt there by Wingate. Oh, a little slip there. Nothing doing. Seems like they're still kind of feeling each other out yeah, a little still bit. Trying to find the range. Uh, both of them are south. Huh? Nice. <laughs> Christopher's out there having fun, man. A lot of a lot of faints seem like you know they're like I said, still filling each other out, looking to for that big opening. Slight low low blow, nothing serious. So they have fought before, so they know. They, uh, they, they know what to expect. Yeah, one. Ramon trying to get his timing down. Christopher looks very calm. You know, I feel like he's he's trying to catch Ramon slipping. Yeah. I think that's evident from the the, the little flying knee yes, attempt. Yes, yes. <laughs> See if he can catch him doing something. But Ramon's very calculated and so confident in his boxing. So a lot of one shots. You see that a lot, Bone. 
Just not, coming in one, not following up. Not setting, not setting it up either. Up, just throwing. But, I, you know, that's something you'll see in the beginning of the career. And then as they progress, they'll start seeing. Look, set, definitely having fun trying to set that up. <laughs> oh, stuffs the almost, takedown attempt. Almost a little too obvious with it, though. Just trying to get Ramon to make a move. Nice inside leg kick there. Ramon just being very patient. Yeah. Ramon's keeping the center. Definitely feeling each other out this round. Not trying to get into a, a brawl of any sort. I think Wingate wants to brawl. Yeah. Ramon, though, he's like, you know, calculating each and every one of his shots. I think they're both just get, getting really warmed up. I think second round we're going to see a whole different fight. All right, so here we go. Wingate wanting to engage. Body shot there as he closed the distance. Working the cage. Great driving him back, driving his head, head control, in control. You know, when you when you when you're controlling their head, you're controlling their body. So there we go, break away. Boom. I think, you know, when he throws combos, when Ramon throws combos, he's landing. When you're throwing the one the one shots, it, it, maybe it goes three sometimes. Oh, but he keeps it standing. Keeps it standing. Doesn't even try. So I tried to do a little uh, showtime off there. There we go. Nice. Playing the game now. Ramon's gaining that confidence. Nice low so, kick. Needs Ooh. to follow up. Oh, Changed the stance it right him. away. It hurt him. Ten seconds. We should see something crazy, maybe. Man. Ooh, nice. I like, I think, uh, like I said, it's going to be a different fight right now. That they definitely fell each other out. I think that Christopher probably knows he's down around now. Nice little some bruising Throw. on the inside of uh, Tavares' right leg. Ooh. Another flying knee. I, oh. I'm not sure if it landed, but it was set him up. Chris is looking for that, that one shot knockout for sure. If you notice, I, I don't think I seem to throw more than one strike at a time. It's always either the kick. I love being able to hear the corners, you know, and when, like like we talked about, they're they're asking for combinations from Ramon. Oh, the team's in. He has to close that guard. Wow. It's it's still. I mean, he has it around the neck, but he has to close that guard up. He's able to use it to just get it back up. Yes. Good defense. Wingate really. Oh. Well. Great defense. Uh, it's good aggression from Wingate and great defense from Tavares. Cage work in itself is a, is a whole nother martial art, I tell people. Just knowing what to do when you're against the cage, when you have someone against the cage. Was ready for that. That was great, just oh. shrugged him off. Oh, oh, big shots, good reversal. 
Back take by Ramon. Brought it down to the ground. Establishing his hooks. Has a seatbelt in. It's not looking good right now for Chris. This is a very dominant position for, for Ramon here. Ramon oh, being, got, being, the, being, the, the neck. being the boxer. <laughs> Can't see if it's oh, under the chin. It looks like it's locked in. He has his hand. He has a full naked choke. Oh, Tap. There it is. Got the win. Beautiful. Gets the sub. Looked calm. Wow. Great fight. He looked great. Spend the whole fight on the feet. Go to the ground for yeah. 30 seconds. And Beautiful. Fantastic finish. And great show of sportsmanship. Show respect. Yes. And respect from these guys. Jacksonville, Florida. At 2 minutes and 19 seconds in the second round. Your winner by rear naked choke. Ramon the Savage Tavares! So Ramon Tavares gets the rear naked choke victory in his pro debut and main event of Combat Night Pro Duval. Night, night, night.